Hello guys, welcome back to Sophie Reacts. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to react to Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 7 Episode 15. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. You know what, I still don't know all their names. Potentials. Oh my god, there's a lot. A lot of them. Chloe? It is Chloe, right? Okay, we have a Chloe. What the fuck? It's not enough. <gasps> the first Slayer? The first Slayer is making a reappearance. Oh my god, love that. Why in the name of Almighty Grothnar would I let myself become human again? You're really talking to the wrong fella. I mean, sure, the Vengeance Demon Gate has some downsides. All jobs do. Some downsides? You're always icky on the inside and disgusting on the outside. Your outside's not so bad. Y you know, the only thing worse than being human is being trapped inside a household full of humans. Preaching to the choir, love. I mean, it's like we live in Slayer Central. She's living in Buffy's house. Everyone is living in Buffy's house. I'm sorry, but that must be suffocating. <laughs> I swear, if Buffy rooms or boards one more of the potential girls, I'm gonna call a- So find your own place, girl. Thanks for having me along. Don't mention it. At first I thought, it's weird. Is Mike asking me out on a date? No way. Just, once you're down there, I could join you. <laughs> Kidding. I like my sex on top of the table. Would you let it go? You're like a dog with a bone. So what? It's my bone. Just drop it. <laughs> okay. Wasn't proposing. <clears throat> Time goes by, girl gets hungry. You should know. Oh, thank God. What? Demon. Huh? <laughs> Dog says you die. Of course he does. <clears throat> oh, the whole thing is still after her. This is why she's questioning with them. I'm gonna cut you guys some slack this time. Is he not gonna tell her about First Spike? This week, and it just seems to me as if things are getting bad faster than we thought. We're a little ahead of schedule. I can't say I'm too surprised. I knew I signed on for something, but Buffy, I'm just a guy. Granted, a cool and sexy a vampire. A guy with a gun, gender. I guess he's not gonna tell her about Spike. What is it? An emergency kit. This bag belonged to my mother. A Slayer keepsake? I, I couldn't. No, you have to. Technically, it should have been passed down directly to you through the years, but oh. I don't know what's inside exactly, but I know it has something to do with her power. Well, your power now. What is it? Oh, anyway, this is uh, it, Command Central. Where the hell have you been? This funnel cake is kicking my ass. Yeah, I hear they're tricky. Andrew is our... Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's our hostage. He's like what exactly? myself more as a... Guessed it. <laughs> so you yeah. can we try to just keep our secret headquarters a little bit secret? You'll see the big board. We don't have a big board. He made one. <laughs> I uh, made it myself. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, <laughs> this is us. Flex butt combo. Yeah. Hold it. What the hell you call that potential? Try that in the field. You are dead. Drop and give me twenty. Twenty what? Push-ups, maggot. This Chloe girl is new. I feel like this is the first time I've seen her. I love this dog. <laughs> Did you see that? I call that girl a maggot. Principal Wood, hi. It's so weird seeing you outside of school. <laughs> what are you waving at potential? <laughs> she calls them I'm all Jen potential. Oh. <laughs> right, it's not enough. That's not what I said, Buffy. That's an impressive group of recruits. They're not recruits. Recruits are recruited. Uh, more like refugees. This is the way I see them now, to be honest. I don't think they actually can help defeat the first evil. I mean, how? They don't even have the powers yet. And they can have the powers. Even if the active slayer dies and another slayer gets activated, that's it. They're always going to be one slayer. But with them, they don't even have the time, the proper time to train like Xander, like Giles, to do something, to contribute in something, so... I... This isn't your full arsenal anyway. Show me the vampire. But you just let him go. No need to thank me. I'm just the one who beat him off. I'm not sure. Repelled him, would perhaps. Does he better. know that he has a soul? Of course he knows that he has a soul, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I don't blame him. Like, this is 
a vampire that killed his mother, man, when he was six years old, I mean. This is what brings our good principal to this neck of the gloom. I'm showing him our operation. Fine by me. Big fight against evil coming up. Well, good guys we've got, the longer we'll all live. Is that what you are? A good guy? I haven't heard any complaints. Well, I have heard a few complaints over the years, but then I just killed whoever spoke up, and that was pretty much that. Oh, oh don't provoke him, please. That's the old me I'm talking about. Why don't you tell me about that? There's not much to tell. I've changed now that you have a soul. That was a big deal. Very private. <laughs> Are you just telling everyone now? <laughs> oh, come on, Spike. Don't blame Buffy. I asked. Right. The educator. Oh, my God. The tension. Yeah, I went to great lengths. Lots of trouble. And now I'm unique. Not really. Well, more or less. <laughs> Got myself a soul. And how's that working out for you? In progress. Oh, my God. The oh, tension. You've been in Sunnydale. What? Years. How many? A few. Before that? Around. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think we better get back upstairs. Get in the full tour. You don't want to miss a look at a weapons chest. Took a look inside that emergency bag of Principal Woods. I didn't know What's that was possible. It? Trinkets, weapons, one very large textbook. Translation's gonna be a bitch, but... Did you know the ancient Sumerians did not speak English? Ugh, they're worse than the French. Anything else? Um, yeah. I love to see your eyeballs change color when you think I'm gonna flunk at you. Ah! Yeah, this is something we don't see every day. I'm cutting her down. Good thinking. On the other hand, why rush? Up or down? I'll still be dead. First. What did you do to her? The first evil pushed her until she killed herself. All this? It's almost over. We'll be here. All of you? But wait, I thought... They're not all gonna make it. Some will die. And there's nothing I can do that will stop it. Hey, I didn't say it. But I'll be seeing all of you. They're just a bunch of little girls. They're not prepared for this. Chloe was an idiot. And anyone in a rush to be the next dead body I bury, it's easy. Just think of Chloe and do what she did. And I'll find room for you next to her and Annabelle. Ouch. You want to surprise the enemy? Surprise yourselves. Force yourself to do what can't be done or else we are not an army. We're just a bunch of girls waiting to be picked off and buried. Where are you going? Out, since I'm neither a girl nor waiting. All this speechifying doesn't really apply to me, does it? Fine. Take a cell phone. That way, if I need someone to get weepy or well done, I can call you. If you've got something oh, to say... Oh, she's really going off. You keep holding back, you might as well walk out that door. Holding back? You're blind. I've been here, right in it. Fighting, scrapping. He's since been... You got your soul back? He's been... Hold well, him back. As a matter of fact, I haven't been bit. quite relishing the kill the way I used to. You were a better fighter then. I did this for you. The soul, the changes, it's what you wanted. What I want is the spike that's dangerous. The spike that tried to kill me when we met. Oh, you don't know how close you are to bringing him out. I'm nowhere near him. I have mixed feelings about Buffy's speech here. It was really harsh, really, really harsh, especially when she called that poor little girl stupid and useless or something, I don't know. But I do understand where she's coming from. If they don't live up to their potential, <laughs> they're screwed. I mean, the only thing that they're doing since they got here is rely on her. Even Willow, who's supposed to be, like Kennedy said, more powerful than Buffy, Still, she doesn't use that power because she's scared. She's scared that if she use it, she'd go dark again. But tough times call for tough measures and Buffy needs that power now more than ever. So she's pushing them. And for Spike, since he got back, he's scared to fight too. And it's understandable because... He has a soul now and it's not the same like before, but it doesn't mean that he can't fight like before. As for the potentials, I know they can't do much, but they need to toughen up. So something like this won't happen again. She doesn't want to find another potential hating herself. So I get that, but yeah, she really did go off on them. But I guess 
because she really feels the pressure this time. She knows they're all relying on her to do the job. And deep down, she's scared that she can't, you know? Maybe this time she won't be able to defeat the enemy. Okay, according to this, I think, <laughs> you put on those puppet guys one by one. They cast shadows and the shadows tell the story. What's that sound? Okay, so far so creepy. Then I mean it's working. Demons. Good job. After Don, there can I just say I feel no chemistry between uh, Willow and Kennedy. Men found a girl. Slayer. The men took the girl to fight the demon. They chained her to the earth. Chained her to the earth. And then I, I can't read this. Something about darkness? You cannot just watch, but you must see. See for yourself, but only if you're willing to make the exchange. It's not in Sumerian anymore. What the hell? I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know what the hell is this about, but... But what does it mean? It means I have to go in there. No, it doesn't. Where does it say that? It doesn't say that. How will we get you back? Find a way. She's gone. That's great. Huh. What was that about an exchange? I'm more concerned about the darkness. Ah, this must be the exchange too. <laughs> Willow, use your magic. Send them back. Um, trying. Uh, redeem. God, we really need Willow. <laughs> Willow's magic this season, man. Roar out of here! All of you! Unless you want to end up all dead and useless! What are you gonna do? What I do best. This house, man. This house has seen everything. I think we'll live. Except maybe Spike. Is getting thrown through the ceiling what he does best? <laughs> Demon loose, no slayer. We need Buffy. You gotta get her back. We need Looks Buffy. Like <laughs> Especially, especially after Kennedy said that, you know, you're way out of line. You're not even the most powerful. You're not even the most powerful girl in here. And just minutes after that, Willow's like, we need Buffy. And you expect to reopen the portal without sending Willow off the deep end? We're going to have to find another way. There isn't. Buffy knew it. Willow needs to find a way to access her magic without getting dark again. Willow really needs to work on herself. Restless is screaming right now. Well, guess that worked. It's written, it's written restless all over, man. I love that. Slayer's counting on you, Willow. Get cracking on that portal. And don't be stingy with the mojo. Demon's mine. I hate to say it, big bad, but you look like you can barely stand. We're trained. And the only thing we know for sure about this demon is it kicked your ass. It did it. Kennedy. He has like a century of experience on your girl. Not to forget, he kind of has superpowers and you don't. I'm Buffy. I'm the Slayer. Good then. Um, she understands? I know we have bigger issues to deal with, but how did I understand anything you guys just said? <laughs> we are the Hellmouth's last guardian. Uh, latest. Y you mean latest guardian. Hapana. Why do you feel like they're performing some kind of ritual or something? Sisi hatwezi kukupatia ujuzi. I cannot give you knowledge, only power. Ngugu peke yake. Meant hologrammy. No! What the fuck? Till we get the magics up and running, I'm kind of working on my best guess here. Opening a portal this size could take days. Better get started. I, I think I might pee my pants. You can do it. Via temporis, yam clamo ate. Donnie, you better put on some coffee. This could be <laughs> God. Don't scare me, Willow, please. Sisi tuapo karibu na kwanza. We are at the beginning. The source of your hapa. strength. The world of Slayer's power. Indus so why we have brought you here. I thought I brought me here. I I'm already the Slayer. Bursting with power. Really don't need any more. Muwaji wa kwanza alikuwa hasemi mane no mengi. Don't talk so much. The energy of the demon. What the hell are they doing? It's hard 
This is how you... Itengeneza muwaji hu... What? What? They created the first Slayer how? But she's already a Slayer, so where are they giving her more power? This is something... more power. Plasma. Oh my god, are we serious? No! This will make you ready for the fight, but you're fucking turning her to a demon! By making me less human? We've met the first Slayer. We don't like to be like her that much. Yes, she's powerful and all, but I don't want Buffy to be less human. No, she was already scared about the darkness taking over and becoming a killer and stuff. It's been, a, it's been her greatest fear since the start of the show. Don't tell me she would really become what she feared the most in the last season, man. No. <laughs> what did she do? Did she get away from her? Stupid guy. She's fighting it. So Buffy's words really did get to him. <laughs> Please don't let Robin see you with that coat. Where are you going? Uh -oh. Got a job. Nice coat. Oh Where'd my god. It? New York. Spike, you should know. He asked you about the coat. She's getting it. Or something's getting her. Well, think you better back up a little. <laughs> Come on now, Nancy. Call yourself a demon. And you're up for a proper fight. Finally, the moment when Spike isn't suffering or depressed. The both didn't spend the whole season just like that. <laughs> you violated that girl. Made her kill for you because you're weak, you're pathetic, and you obviously have nothing to show me. Exactly. <laughs> they made her into a monster. Now they want to do the same with Buffy? Hell no. I don't know your feelings, big guy. What to me? Toss <laughs> like that. <laughs> Just like that is good for the soul. Spike is back, normal self. Buffy's speech was hard, but it had to be said. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Come out and have Sweat a little bit longer. Just taking some some information. Some information. They tried hard. They did it. Been kind of quiet since you sucked the life out of me. Yeah, since then. I thought it would be, I don't know, cool somehow. It just hurt. It's just you were the most powerful person nearby, and well, that's that's how it works. Is Kennedy the one supposed to be the next slayer after Faith dies? If Faith dies, is it why she's the most powerful among the other potentials? I think I made a mistake. Those men that I met, you know, the shadow men, they offered me more power, but I didn't like them. It's loophole. totally understandable. They showed me... Showed you what? That the first Slayer was right. That isn't enough. What did they show you? What you're up against? God. Uh -huh. So, so you tell me we're supposed to take them down? Like, there's too many of them. Like, a shitload of them. Okay, this is really not looking good for our friends. But I do understand why she turned it down. I mean, I mean, like for three or four seasons, her biggest fear was that the power she already had was making her less human. So. 
the fact that these men were asking her to trade more of her humanity with darkness, of course, it's going to be out of the question for Buffy. I mean, like, a major theme of the series was Buffy holding on to her humanity by love of family and friends and, you know. So, yeah, we got more information about Slayer, more like how the first Slayer came to exist. They've created Slayer by merging her with a demon. Wow. It explains the darkness that comes with being a Slayer. This explains a lot about season five, especially Restless and also season six. Damn it, this is so good. Spike put it on the coat, embracing his inner demon was really, really good to see. This makes me notice the difference between Angel and Angelus and Spike with our soul versus Spike with soul. Angel and Angelus are so drastically different. While Spike with and with our soul are pretty similar with some subtle differences. I just feel like that Spike blurs the line between his two selves and like truly accepts what he is. Like his both William and Spike at the same time. I love that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you my reaction and see you in the next video. Hello guys, welcome back to Soft Reacts. I hope you have a wonderful day. Today we're going to be reacting to Buffy the Vampire Slayer season seven, episode 16. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. What the hell is this? Oh, hello there, gentle viewers. <laughs> what? You caught me catching up on an old favorite. Why is this giving me Buffy superstar episode? Jonathan episode. I mean, even the chair is so familiar. <laughs> is this another superstar oh, episode? Only viewers. this time it's centered around an Andrew. Favorite. Come with me now, if you will, gentle viewers. Stop Tell calling me, me gentle viewers. Tale I like to call. Buffy, Slayer of the Vampires. <laughs> just it was Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Last night and the wind was cruel, but the Slayer had a job to do. <laughs> Unfortunately, vampires have a job to do too. <laughs> Ouch, my goodness, things look bad for the Slayer, don't they? She didn't see that second vampire can- Stop pronouncing vampire as vampire. And is this the show narrated by Andrew or something? <laughs> or maybe this is Buffy the Vampire Slayer from Andrew's perspective. Ready? <clears throat> Who's knocking? Ready to attack and make her his own vampirical spawn. Let's rejoin them now to see. For God's sakes, Andrew, you've been in here for 30 minutes. What are you doing? <laughs> Entertaining and educating. Why can't you just masturbate like the rest of us? <laughs> Anya, oh my God, so direct. I can't. <sighs> I really thought the show is going to be another superstar episode. I guess it's not. This is just Andrew being Andrew. That was great. I completely got you dusting that guy in film. Hey, why do vampires show up on video? Is he filming a documentary about Buffy or something? Was Are you still filming me? Stop! But it's, it's a valuable record and an, an important document for the ages. A slayer? In action. They like to be that? honest, he has a point. Someone should tell of his story. <laughs> I was gonna interview you later today, because you know, your unique perspective on the whole thing. Give it editorial balance and uh, glamour. Why is he looking at her like this? Uh, Buffy lives in Sunnydale, California. Um, Thank you for the info. There's a hellmouth, hellmouth, underneath the high school. See, weird things happen on a Hellmouth. It attracts. <laughs> this feels like the show in a nutshell. Nasty vampire thing came out of it. It was, uh, it was just awful. It's awful. Um, <laughs> uh, this whole thing. Oh my god. Thing. Look at this place. Damn girl's dorm is what it is. Exactly. It's nice. Secondhand stinkiness. Start from the top. You've already met Buffy. She's beautiful <laughs> with a lion's heart and, and the face of an angel. This is how this is this is how it feels about Buffy, okay? Imagine if this is the official video synopsis of the show. 
Ah, that would be funny. Buffy and Spike have some kind of history. What the hell? You can feel the heat between them, although technically as a vampire. What the? Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? And what, what, what is she doing here? Excuse me, what's going on? Oh my god. I'm not sure if this is a Sarah commercial or what exactly, but okay, I'm digging it. Spicy way for the fiery temper and a vulnerable heart that she hides even from herself. Oh my god, accurate. So he learned this all by himself, by just observing lately. I mean, he had nothing to do but observe. <laughs> this lovely girl. Who is she? I don't remember her name. <laughs> For God's sake, is she doing that again? Come on, no one else thinks this is idiotic. Or is it important? I mean, Buff, I don't get why this is bothering you so much. As long as you're not pointing that thing at me, seems like a fine way to keep the boy busy. At least he's doing something useful. You can't expect more of him, so. I had a vision. What's to come? Honestly, gentle viewers, these motivating speeches of hers tend to get a little off. I'll take you back <laughs> in there in a, in a little while, but in the in-between time... I mean, this speech is the most important thing. Come on. <laughs> now he's deciding to do it in the between time. Shall we see if Buffy's still talking? I mean mentally. And from what I've seen so far, there is no way you girls are She's ready. She's not done. You have Even to Willow looks bored, and she usually can take a lot of that stuff. Look at her. <laughs> Side note, I once had my own personal encounter with Dark Willow. Oh, yeah. John, you boys like magic, don't you? Oh, my God. Abracadabra. Yeet! Halt him! Okay. Didn't see that coming. Okay. It's because we have power you can't imagine. <laughs> you, Dark Willow, wield a force of mighty evil. It is true. And you are new to the game, little one. And Stick to the original script, please. If at first you don't succeed... Holy cats, here it comes again. I deflect thy power. Oh yeah, if, if only it was that easy. Effective. She was something. Indeed she was. <laughs> this hey, dude, man. Think Excuse me? Hey, shy girl, don't do this. Oh, I'm <laughs> So not only does Mr. Hildegard move up the trig exam to today, but he also makes it cover three more chapters. And I've got an English paper due tomorrow. I feel like I'm gonna explode. Hey. Oh, uh, if you go on like this, it would actually explode. There's this thing that happens here in this school. The way a thing feels, it, it kind of starts being that way. I've seen all these things before. Just not oh, yeah. all at once. So what it's like hell's I'm a loving out the callbox. If we don't do something about this. We're gonna have a riot on our hands. Like what? Oh my god, like this. Really should have had that photo. <laughs> oh my god. Dawn is a typical American teenager, bubbly and sweet with a hunger for fun and a smile that lights up the room. Oh my god. Okay. Hello. That was cute. Dawn used to be a key. <laughs> I don't really know what that means. Here's something I think you're going to be interested in, gentle viewer. <laughs> Look at the fine work Xander did on replacing that <laughs> window sash. Mmm. Okay, Xander got a fan here. I understand that exactly one year ago today you left Anya at the altar. Any comments? <laughs> Are we really addressing this? Whoa. What the hell? I just think people will be interested. I know I am. What do you have to say for yourself one year later? <laughs> oh my I've god. I've apologized enough. Though you don't think it was the right thing to do. Uh, uh, of course. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> tea. Tea. First time I'm actually interested in what. Andrew has to say. It was the right thing to do. Interesting. <laughs> We're getting to something here. I, I get jealous of you, you get jealous of me. You still love me. You really have such a complicated relationship, to be honest. You still love her. Do tell. Mm. Uh, Willow did a search on the symbolic database. And you trust her? Yes. Why wouldn't I trust her? I don't know why any of you should trust each other. You've all been evil at some point, right? <laughs> no, that's, that's not true. I mean, yeah, I know I had a bad patch, but... It... Evil is what evil does, and I know what you're doing. Excuse me? You're with that vampire. Screwing that vampire. You filthy whore! Excuse me? Is this just brought, I don't know, the darkness in him? Something like that? We gotta shut it down before it starts affecting everyone. I think I have a pretty good idea who we should talk to. The guy that fed it his first drop of blood. Andrew. <laughs> Don't tell me this is the 
think uh, Andrew was supposed to sacrifice. <laughs> Rumors has it that he's still running for his life. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> no, it's the big. Oh my god. I thought I told you to piss off with this bloody camera. Bite. The light was kind of behind you. Oh, right. What? Um. Uh, well, this better than. <laughs> I thought I told you to piss off with that bloody camera. Here you are again with that thing in my face. You sawed off. I keep dodging what the question. The I don't mean to. Oh my god. Do you still love me? I don't know. Yes. I still love you. I always will. Well, I love you too. Uh, I don't know if that means anything either. This is so complicated, man. You were, were ready to protect me with your life. <laughs> yeah, I guess we fit together pretty good. We fit together great. Uh, is he watching the recording again? Or does he know the characters that well by now? <laughs> now he's watching again, <laughs> okay? Uh-oh. Don't tell me this is more bodies to sacrifice. Is there a mountain in the water? What? I'm sorry, what? This is the cheese guy! The... from Restless. What the hell? What the hell is this? Oh my god, oh my god. It's so... Is this a flashback? The dream or the vision they got before they came back to Sunnydale. Did you get the knife? Oh God. This is how it God. started? Did you get the knife? Yeah. It wasn't easy. I had to meet this demon guy who sells all kinds of weird weapons and stuff. Yeah, show me. Was Andrew in love with Jonathan? This is why he was doing his bedding? Jonathan has been a, a good friend to me here in Mexico. Oh, you can stab him. No, it's all... Part of the plan. That boy's blood is a powerful tribute. It's a, it's a, it's a gift. Oh my God. It's something very big, very important. We live as gods. That's right, man. The trio. <sighs> we live as gods. We are gods. We are gods. This dude really needs to wake up from his fantasy world. We need to see that knife. There's something there. It's not in my stuff. It's in the kitchen in the cutlery drawer. You didn't have any steak knives. <laughs> Put your old murder weapon in with our utensils. Are you crazy? We washed it. What are you looking oh, for? Oh yeah, we washed it. Guys, share leaders. Riot that almost happened. It looks to me like it happened after all. Oh my god. Nice way to run a school. There's got to be kids' engine in here. Yeah, easy pickings for the likes of you, huh? What? I'm here to help, you know. Right. Check out Spike in the principal. <laughs> There's something going oh, on there. Yeah. Sexual tension you could cut with a knife. <laughs> Kids went nuts, didn't they? No kidding. They'll hear you. They've really wasted a lot of money by rebuilding the school, man. You a little coward? No. But did you actually think I could use this? That's good. A knife? Just do it. It'll feel good. What's going on? He's making me do it. Me. Damn you! Kill you first! Stop it! You have to! Kill what? You this family. happened? I'll and I'll hate you forever! No! I'm not sure if this really happened or not. Because he has a tendency of, you know, not telling what exactly happened, you know? Die! Die! Excuse me, what actually happened? I'm confused now. Get out of my brain! Changed your entire yeah, exactly. Uh, you did too. Go. Oh my god. Well. Well, well. Excuse me? You've made it even more complicated, guys. I felt like a one more time. Aww. I think maybe we're really over. Oh, okay. Which, now we can move on. So it was a one more time sure. before moving on? Wood shop, I guess. It's nice to know they're paying attention in class. Oh. Watch your back. I thought maybe Robin would stake him. Okay. Oh, 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 who's to do? She's like a woman fighting for more than life. She fights like fighting is her life. Wow. <laughs> He's a good storyteller, though. It's your turn, Andrew. 
Do something useful for once, Andrew. Doesn't really make sense, does it? Bringing you here to talk to it. And this thing doesn't understand words. It understands blood. Uh, what? Blood opens it. You don't want to open it. Opening it would be bad. Turns out the blood of the person that awoke it, you. Oh. Different kind of deal. It reverses the whole thing. Oh. So this is my redemption at last. Buy back my bruised soul with the blood of my heart. Not enough to, to kill. Stop. Stop telling stories. Life isn't a story. Yeah, just wake Sorry. up. Sorry. Oh, Shut up. You don't need to kill me. You said we could all get through this. I made it up. So what kind of hero does that make me? A real one, I guess. Oh, when, when your blood pours out, it might save the world. What do you think about that? Does it buy it all back? Oh my Are you god. Redeemed? No. Why not? Because I killed him. I listened to Warren and I pretended I thought it was him, but... Oh I knew, my I god. <laughs> And I killed Jonathan. And now you're gonna kill me. And I'm I'm scared and I'm going when you woke up to die. It was just pretending, so it won't be that heavy on him. This is what Jonathan felt. What she needed tears of remorse and not blood? Is that it? Thanks. Oh, sorry I had you. To. So you weren't really gonna stab me, were you? Sure. I wasn't going to stab you. What if the the tears didn't work? She knew you had it in you. She got it done. What was that? <laughs> so far. But Spike, watch your back. <laughs> Here's the thing. I killed my best friend. Good. There's a big fight coming, and. <sighs> I don't know what's gonna happen. They having me feel bad for Andrew. I guess I'm. I cared less about his character, like seriously. Wow, they really surprised me with this episode. Like I didn't care for Andrew until this episode. Like seriously, I could have cared less about his character. I didn't really care about his redemption arc or how they're gonna resolve the whole story of him and Jonathan. You know. But I loved how, in the end, Buffy helped him to get a reality check. Come up from his little fantasy world and face the reality of what he had done. He wasn't controlled. He, it's not like he didn't mean to. He was aware of what he was doing. And he did it anyway. He tried to make it up into a different story to feel better. And Buffy made him face up, you know. I like that. So, I liked how they made him a... A likable character, especially in this episode, and pushed forward his redemption arc. Also, even though this episode was centered around Andrew, we got a closure between Anya and Xander. It puts a nice underscore on what was a very traumatic year for the both of them, so yeah. Uh, that reference to the <laughs> cheese guy... <laughs> Why does he have to be in every weird dream? Like, come on. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and see you in the next video.